for that $20 million, they're supposed to be helping poor people, disabled people. But the reality is that Bali is creating homelessness and they're pushing African people out of their homes. I mean, if, this, if they got vouchers, I mean, that's, if it's taxpayers' funds, I guess they should be able to use them. They shouldn't be able to them out. I don't, without without reason. Holy shit, as an organization, should be hurting, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, because, I mean, the, you talk about the, the, the thing that they did here, you know? Uh, um, you know, taking away your jobs, you know, uh, mm -hmm. first of all. Uh, and then on top of that, making people homeless. I'm talking mm -hmm. about some folk who who are disabled or have disabled children. That's right. You know, uh, uh, were made homeless. You know, That's just right. just because of their political association. That's not right. you know, and and not you know, not not because they associate with the Republican Party because <laughs> they didn't kick no Republican Party folk out. Did they? No, they didn't kick no Democratic Party folk out. Did they? Nope. So just because people associated with the Uhuru movement, they kicked them out of their home. I am associated with the organization. What problem does that have to do with me receiving um, a public housing when I actually need it, when my family needs it? If I don't have any housing, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, you know, so I, I think... Um, I think they bully should be hurting because that's that's it's unjust, you know, and uh, and uh, and I, I think that they can't function like that. They can't be allowed to function like that uh, because it's it's a it's an attack. Uh, it, not only is it illegal in in, uh, in in a number of ways, but it's also attack on uh, on on just the basic democratic rights. Up to now, there's been no uh, disclosure in terms of what rules. <laughs> Um, uh, they violated other than being a member of the horror movement. I mean, I guess, mm -hmm. but that wasn't one of the things that I understood that was on the criteria sheet to to get the housing was <laughs> that you could not be a member of the horror movement. But obviously, <laughs> that's one that bullies use at his own discretion. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, what what other laws? Um, are, are there any other laws or, or rules that that Bully violated in in uh, in doing this? Absolutely. I mean, when we talk about again, the Code of Federal like, Federal Regulations is very clear in terms of what um, rights the tenant or the participant has. I mean, obviously, the burden of proof is always on the housing authority, but you don't want to be in a situation where um, the participant or or the tenant is looked at at fault. You want to give them as much opportunity as you can to, you know, write whatever it is that you know. Obviously, because they may maybe they misunderstood something. Maybe they didn't get the notice. Maybe um, they overlooked the notice. So you always want to give them these opportunities. And so when we talk about just the the rules that bully violated, we talk about the due process in terms of being able to give people the opportunity to have an informal hearing. That's important. You want when we talk about just in terms of fair housing laws, the right that you cannot kick somebody out of their housing again without going through the proper process. Mm -hmm. You can. Mm -hmm. So here it is, where people inside the horror movement or who again supporters, friends, who are uh, you know, it's already been predetermined that we're gonna make less money, mm -hmm. and they meet the criteria then. They, des they have a right to the same kind of uh, ability to access those vouchers just like anybody else. So again, like you said, they didn't, they didn't uh, give termination letters to anybody in the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. They targeted you know, um, people inside the Uhura movement. They targeted people who are supporters of the Uhura movement. And they did that through giving out these illegal letters stating that your um, voucher has been terminated or will be terminated uh, in X amount of days based on the fact that you didn't, uh, weren't in compliance of some phantom, you know, rule hmm. that nobody has yet to been able to identify whether it's been the city or Boley has yet to identify whatever that phantom violation was for people who have been on the program some up to six years. Hmm. <laughs> so, you know. It's bogus yeah. and it's unjust, and you know that's why we continue. To, that's why we're making this this fight to say that you know and expose Bowley for who they are. That this attack, that we're clear that it's an attack. <laughs>